Hello friends. Welcome back to All in Law. Today I'm going to talk about PTSD. What's the PTSD? The supposed traumatic stress disorder. Okay, so this is really very important topic for USMLE step one and a step two CK and even for a step three. So there are only two points you should remember about this for USMLE examination. And before telling about those po points, I want to tell you something about the post traumatic stress disorder. Okay, what are the points you should look for in USMLE examination? That's really very important. Okay, because the case history, the case scenario of this. PTSD will be very easy to identify but you have to look for two important points what I'm going to tell you later but before that let me tell you what post-traumatic stress disorder is the post-traumatic -tra stress disorder name itself indicates after the trauma post-traumatic right it's a post-trauma so there has been an exposure to what you call a life-threatening traumatic event for example she might have undergone a, what you call a car accident her child has died or husband has died beside her in the car okay if or he has witnessed any violent crime or she has witnessed any violent crime okay any any kind of assault any kind of what you call war or any kind of something horror right so these are the things you should look for in USMLE case history you will get it definitely okay so the second important point the second thing what are the things you should know is these symptoms should be more than one month should be more than one month remember if they have given if the symptoms are less than one month like 15 days 20 days something like that then definitely it's not a PTSD remember this is really very important point I'm discussing here is a one month more than one month must be there okay symptoms should be more than one month okay so now now, now as you know this is the movie no you you you, you can, there are a lot of movies there where you can see the post traumatic stress disorder okay so for example the the patient will have what you call they are characterized by re experiencing the events okay for example they are getting him in the night from the bed okay there are nightmares okay and uh, the avoidance of the stimuli associated with the trauma okay numbed responsiveness detachment and hot Adonia, okay, increase arousal, okay. So these are the things you see, and the other things you see here is guilt, okay. Um, then poor concentration, okay, poor concentration. The patient will have poor concentration, always worrying about that, and uh, amnesia, that's a loss of memory, personality change, okay. So personality change. right and the sleep disturbance sleep disturbance then they have substance abuse depression suicide attempts okay these are the things you should look for the for USMLE exemption try to look for any exposure to an extreme is there any event given in the history and the second thing what you have to look is the more symptoms must be more than one month very important point okay how would you treat that how would you do that? That's for USMLE CK or step 3. Okay, so how would you do that? What's the first line of treatment? Is SSRI. Okay, SSRIs. Remember, okay. So sometimes MOs or TCAs may be helpful. MAO inhibitors or TCAs, tricyclic antidepressants, might be helpful okay so beta blockers benzodiazepines and clonidine can be used okay what are the uh, group therapy we have a support group therapy and psychotherapy so these are the things you should see as a treatment part 
thank you so much for watching this video take care i think this was really very helpful for you if you like the video thumb up and thank you so much and please do share our videos with your friends thank you so much